Anyway. Now listen, I gave my son is saying, you know. Sorry, can't. No, I just want to say, you know, thanks a lot for having us down here. It's a, it's a special time, it's a big year. Won the league. Got promoted, sorry. Um, you know, it's a big time for the club, you know, we've been in a doldrums for a few years. Um, and hopefully, they can, you know, obviously, we are promoted now, and hopefully, we can stay there for you know, a long time if we kick on again. Just want to get that up there. Congratulations to the Lavis. Lavis. You know, initially, like, the, the first thing I want to say is, right, is like, um, when I started Liverpool, got calls in, like, like 20, there, there's a bit of a, a background story on it, I was an accountant for a little bit, believe it or not, left school, I was an accountant, and then, um, go to Liverpool, I was 20, and he's just knocking around at these times like a fucking weird cunt and all that. <laughs> so I'm, 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 in, I'm in like the young boys for like a little spell, and I go to and speak to Roy Evans, and I says to him, yeah, he pulled me in over something. I, I can't remember what it was, but he pulled, he pulled me in over something. And he says, um, well, and I might have gone and spoke to him, so he said, anything else? And I said, well, I've been, I've been in the squad for a little bit now, like for, you know, 10, 12 games or so. I said, um, any chance of like, so I mean, with, the, with the first team squad, because like I was like the second team keeper, but I was still with the boys in, in like the boys changing rooms. So he goes, okay, yeah, fair enough, yeah. He said, get your boots and get yourself in there. So I go, okay, fine. So I was getting my boots. Says to the young lads, last year they said, fucking getting in there with, with, with the big boys, you know, the pop stars and the pretty people. I'm going in there. So I was, when I walks in, there's all the big legends there and all that. But Reese is there as well. <laughs> so. <laughs> So after like, must have been like a week or so, I'm standing in there and as it just happens where me and Ray's in the shower on our own in this one particular day. So I don't know if you know, but Ray's got a big massive set of plums, a big set of balls, right? Well, well, well actually he's not like, well, I'm not too sure what his self proclaims, but he has got a set of plums, I've seen them, do you know what I mean? So me and him, I'm in the shower now on my own. You know, just fucking just get myself ready and all that. So Razor walks in, man, and like I turns around, he goes to me, fucking hell, Tom. He said, hey, you're a fucking decent shoe on you, haven't you? So I was like, yeah, yeah, it's not bad, you know, it's all right. So he goes, there's no bones there. He goes, and I'm like, yeah, I can see them. He goes, tell you what, with your cock on my bones, we could take on the world. <laughs> Okay, fair enough, fair enough. So I'm standing there with like that big bar of fucking fairy so the big green ones like which are like bricks, back old school, do you know what I mean? It's like you're scraping yourself and all that. So he says to me, get a little bit hard for us. He said, I want to look at how big it goes. So I'm like, I don't really want to do that, like he said. And he goes, well, I'm just fucking, you know, don't even give me head, don't let us sit around and all that. So I'm like, a bit uncomfortable, you know what I mean? So, the guy goes, get it hard, get that right. So I'm like, oh, okay, please. So he starts like stoking and stuff. And he goes, say what? And he goes, your next missus, what? Sarah, what? He was fit, by the way. He goes, Sarah, fucking love that. So I was like, okay, okay. So there's me now, I've got like a, a, a half decent lob on, do you know what I mean? So, so I'm standing there with half decent lob on, standing there, fucking showers. So he goes, listen, he goes, so I'm thinking to myself, I've done my job. I'm getting a little bit abused, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's like kind of, like, you know, yeah, slight, a bit of slight grooming. But I think I can accept that. Yeah, yeah. So, so what he does is, he steps up a level. He goes, gives a little feel of it. I want to feel how like, like warm it is and all that. So I'm like, I don't know, you know, he's like, so he's insistent now. So he goes, I want to feel it. So I, Okay, so he feels it. So there's me and Razor standing in the fucking shop. I mean, like, you can picture him. Me and him on our own. And he's just, he's just standing there like that. So he, so he used to walk in. Actually, what that was, 
I think that the, the squad kind of walked in together, which was a good job. If somebody would have walked in individually, it would have been like a bit of, they'd have fucking sit around, like putting the board, you know what I mean? But everybody's, yeah, but everybody, everybody's walked in, and everyone's laughing and all that. And I said, but the thing is, he said, you know, I've got a good feeling of there, but I want to feel it properly. And I'm going, well, how can you feel it properly like that? He goes, I want to feel it like a reach around. And he goes, I want to feel like, I want to feel it like it's mine. And I swear to God, like, this is the God's honest truth. So like, you know, they, they, I, I think this is what's made me a bit of a fucking weird cat myself, do you know what I mean? Like, you know, getting abused like this. So I'm like, okay, no, in for the penny, for the pound. So I'm standing there. So he goes, right, okay, I want to do like this, I want to come behind you. I'm like, fuck it. Bitch I swear, okay, fine. So I was thinking, no, fuck it. So he goes behind me. But what he does is he pulls me in. He, just, he pulls me in like, like really tight. He just reaches round and he just stands there. And I'm just standing there, like looking, and the whole Liverpool squad is just looking at me, going, what the fuck's going on here? And he's just stroking me, popping up. Like, I'm having face and touching to like Liverpool space team. Like, too bad for me. It's good start, it's good start. But then, as, as, a, as, a, as I'm in the squad for, for like, you know, a few weeks or months or whatever, there's like, obviously going to away games and that. And some of you might have heard this story, but we're playing away in London. And there's a, there's a hotel that I used to stay in, and I used to have chocolates next to the uh, beds. When you walk into the bedrooms, you'd have like a, a selection of chocolates and stuff. So I was room with Macca's here this time. And I'd always like dive into the room to eat the fucking chocolate. Got a mad sweet tooth for me. I'd always walk in and scoff all the chocolates that quick. Um, so I, was, I walked in this one time and I eat the chocolate fucking bang, bang, one, and one, two, three, bang, and one, and all that. And then this one time, there's like a, like a cupcake, a little small cupcake. And that's going to throw me mouth like that. I just see the hair hanging out of it. And as I see the hair hanging out of it, I can smell it to me right in the face. <laughs> And it's an arse and shit, right? <laughs> so I'm thinking to myself, I turn around, like just like, what's going on? I turn around, and Steve Arkin, to the day, but no Steve Arkin is left back a little bit yeah, yeah, fucking absolute animal, horrible man. He's just like looking around the corner, and he's laughing his head off. And I remember, like, I remember legging him down the corridor, and he's very quick at the meeting, he's fucking left back, I was a goal leader, you know what I mean? I'm banging his gun, and he's laughing his head off. And I said to him afterwards, I said, listen, I said, they've had to make that shit. The, the story would have followed me forever. Like, you know, I'm 43 now, I still would have followed me now and some more fucking shit eating and all that. Right? It would have followed me. But I said to him, I said, the fucking iron I would have had to give you to appease myself. Do you know what I mean? Because, like, I don't have to follow me. I'd have fucking had to probably break the leg or something or fucking broke the jaw. I do not know what it was. Like, it was all my man, one of them shit back, one of them fat, one of them. But, um, I said, the high that I would have to give you for that would have been fucking up pat rounds. So, you know, I did, I, I, that, that's the kind of stuff that artists you do. He was, well, he was a bit of like, a, he had a bit of a shit fetish, he, he put shit on our nose. And, like, lads, and, like, the foreign, the foreign fellas, like, all the up up to us. They were like the Norwegians, they were like the people like that. The French fellas, they all have shit on their hands and that. And then another time we played in Russia, and, um, <laughs> he, um, he, I think he shit and stands, he, he shit and stands Colin Moore's bed. Which was good. Yeah. 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 And yeah, you are concerned, you are concerned of a good side too. But then, nobody's seen that. What we see was like stands like here, we'd push him. And Stan put the thickest cable in his lovely Louis Vuitton bag all over his fucking boss after shave and all that. And it was a big, it was a big massive solid. It's like fucking that, big solid shit, right? So, like, you know, like, 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 like you said, like, that's how we used to fucking, that's, that, that's how we used to roll in those days, you know what I mean? So that was that. So then, um, I remember a time we were in Judith Island, and this is pre-season now. It's all the way over. Stan Collymore being fucking Stan, like, the sense of attention. For, like, the right and the wrong reasons. It's it, yeah. Um, Stan is going, I've got this bear coming in the hotel. She's fucking lovely, you want to see her, she's fit. Like, like 11 out of 10, she's fucking gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's then, he just wouldn't stop going on. He wouldn't stop going on about this bear. He said, I met like an expo or something in like Birmingham or someplace he was like signing autographs. And this bear's fucking a winner. He said, okay, fair enough. 
so then the day comes where the birds go to meet them. So it was kind of like, you know, we've heard enough about this now, it's getting on our nerves, you know, but still I'm quite persistent with it. So then, we're all sitting there, you know, she's only like 10 minutes, so it's not really fine. I would expect her, like, I'd be coming to walk in. So then, Stan fucks off, he's going to be the bird in reception. So Steve Martinus comes in now, the fucking shit, that's his fella. And he comes in, and he's beside himself, he's falling over, he's, the tears are pouring out of his eyes. He goes, fuck, Stan's bird here, come and have a look at her, come and have a look at her. So I'm like, fuck, I'm like, she, what, she's that fit, she's, I can't believe, so I'm like, I can't believe she's that fit, what, what, what's going on? So he walks out now, so we, it's like a big, it's like a big game reception. It's probably about the same size as this, it's got sofas everywhere, and he's the back to the sofas. <laughs> So yeah, yeah, he knows, he knows what's coming, he knows what's coming. So we're walking out now, and you can see Stan sitting on the, basically like, it's a, it's a big huge sofa like this, and we're at the back of it. So Stan's sitting on it, talking to his beard. So we're like, I'm getting fine, and she's saying, oh, she's like, what's coming? So we're like, we're walking along now, we walk past, we walk past the sofa, and every time any person walks past the sofa, and has a look, he starts asking. Like, it's not a joke, it's fucking serious. This is comes on a suit, this happens, right? So, so he's walking past the champagne. There must be like, like what? Sleep by your ass. Every time he walked past, he would burst out laughing. He would burst out laughing away, just like, don't do it himself. I'm probably going to get towards the back now. As I walked past, he looks now like that. Do good job, son. Thank you, mate. Thanks. He was into war. Like, like, uh, no, he was a proper to war. Like, about like, two foot tall. And, like, the legs, legs were just sitting. The legs were just sitting, like, off, off the, the cushion. The little high heels, like that. And he was just sitting there. So, like, what's wrong with this bed? The stars are all over the Like, she left the top. No, I don't think she left the top. I don't think she left the top. She's not a person, do you mean? She was a fucking midget, let's have a bite. So, everything was going like that, but Stan was just sitting there, so it's normal, isn't it? So then he walks away, he does that, so then he makes Stan. He gets all this Stan after about 20 minutes, he's like, what the fuck's going on, Stan? Where's this fucking stunner, this big boss model and all that? He's going, what's happened is, because I was at like Stan and someone to grab some money. And some birds walk past. And we said to the security guard, he's like, Stan was like, you know, fucking bit of a bit bigger than all that. Don't look at anyone, but funny. So I had the security guard is that the bullet blown when he's probably taking the piss. But he's fucking got the midget's number. I give it to Stan. And then what's happened is Steve, Stan's been phoning the girl and she's gone, oh yeah, from Ireland. And Stan's like, well, welcome to Ireland, three seasons, Sal is fucking full up. Great, you know what I mean? Superb, superb, Sal. So Stan's obviously related the story to us. And that was that. So he's he's um, he said, man, he said, like, we're just bitch, don't we just don't stand it. You fucking sound a style, mate, you know what I mean? Like, don't we sound a style? It's a fucking midget, mate, let's have a try. You're fucking devastated, you know what I mean? Telling all of us he's fucking lovely and all that, and it's a midget. And he's got, well, I might actually take it, you know. I don't you know, she's a nice guy. Okay, you remember, don't you? You remember? He's actually going, I might actually take it, I'll see if I was patient and all that. So, like, that, that was another episode we stand. So, then, on the same trip, we're all sitting there now, and we're over there for a pre-season game, and we've got a shower for overs or some kind of ice cream, I can't quite remember. But, yeah? I don't know, what were you there? Oh, so, very okay, good. So, do you remember that one I played? Nah, fuck off, move on now, stick with my Anyway, but, um, Ray Evans pulls me, he says to me, listen, you're starting today. Now, this is the first game I played for the first team. As we all know, my name is, you might know, you might not. But I'm, my name is Polish, or my other name is Polish before I come to Millwall. Uh, because I, I sat on the bench for, for about a million games. I never played, and I got all the bonus for, for all the games. So, like, all the European games, I think it's fantastic. And, you know, fucking loads of money, fucking and all that. But, fuck it, I got it, you know what I mean? It's not the thing. So, then, um, we're at the um, we have this game now. So, so then, tell him, you've got this game. Graham just said to me, you're playing. Like, fine. I'm really happy with myself. Gonna start with the first team. Lovely. Goes down to pre season. So, so goes, goes down to the pre match meal. So, gets me a meal. Comes back to me, chair. I'm sitting next to Razor. I'm sitting next to Jamo. And my seat in the middle of the air. I don't know who's done it. I think it was Jamo, so I said. But there's all water on your seat. Like, fun, fucking funny, ha ha, and all that, right? 
shows. I changes my sheets.